Hello world, lockpicking dev here. Today I have a registered U.S. mail lock. It is a counter lock, you may have seen it before. It's really cool, it has a counter on the side here. That way you put on a bag or something and if it, the counter is changed between locations, you know someone has been in it. It's kind of a, um, uh, their, their own security mechanism that, you know, sorts just to prevent from picking. I made a key for this. Someone on Discord gave me the dimensions for this, so I cut them in this key and found out it does work. We based that off uh, looking at several videos. I will put the dimensions at the end of the video here so you can use them as well. And there we go, it's about right there. So it's starting to turn. We get a good view on that last number there. It's right there, you can barely see it. it's a nine. I'm gonna turn it. Now it's 440. There we go. That's how that works. Cool enough, I got this when it was 420. I didn't, you know, obviously I wanted to keep it that way, but, you know, I can't just not play with the lock. So, let's show how to pick this thing. As you can see by the key, if that lines the front of the lock here, the pins are really far back there. That's the most difficulty I've really had with this. Um, otherwise, it is a standard pin tumbler lock. So pretty far back there. See how far my pick is in there. It gets pretty far in there. In fact, yeah, right there's three, and that's how far my, my pick is in. There we go. Three, one, there we go, a little bit of rotation. And you also want to make sure you're not holding on to the clasp back here when it turns, because this also rotates a little bit when you get one of the pins. I think the last one we got gets three again, it's way up there. There we go. There's our turn, and we'll watch our counter there. It's a full 40, full 41, and then this continues to rotate around to our back set, and there we are. That is a registered U.S. mail counter lock. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.